It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm one of those sentimental pools that just absolutely loves Christmas time. And Christmas is just around the corner now. December will be filled mostly with Christmas titles. And for the last week of November, I'm going to be talking about a sort of, but not quite Christmas title. Sort of because it's got Santa Claus in it, but not quite because it's not really about Christmas specifically. I'm talking, of course, of Rise of the Guardians. of the Jack Frost character. And in fact, all of the character designs are brilliantly unique. From a sword-wielding, tattooed Russian Santa, a badass Easter Bunny, and a very pretty pixie-ish tooth fairy whose design is based on hummingbirds, and Sandman is probably one of the most visually interesting characters ever with his glittery golden sleep dust and constructs. Now, this film is not doing very well at the box office, unfortunately, and is getting kind of mixed reactions. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say that it probably is because story-wise, it's a little bit predictable and cliché. Of course Jack is the chosen one on whom everyone's hope rests, and of course Santa and the rest aren't as badass as they should otherwise be because Jack has to prove himself, and of course it all comes down to the importance of children's belief in magic. But as simple as that may be, it kind of really works. Look, this is a feel-good holiday movie about kids and children's stories. Not only would I not be expecting anything else, anything else would feel sort of weird. It's already dark enough with Pitch's nightmare sequences and Jack Frost's chilling ha-ha backstory. Push it farther than that and I think it would have lost its charm, of which it has lots. The artwork is very nice. Admittedly, it doesn't look as breathtaking as a Pixar film, but DreamWorks is really trying to up the bar recently and this movie looks quite good. Design alone might be enough to rest on here, and Russian Santa is best Santa. It's got some phenomenal voice talent as well, and every character is depicted expertly. Props to all of the actors who did an excellent job, but I think for me, I was the most impressed with Jude Law's performance as Pitch. And lastly, I think it's the holiday ambiguity that really makes this movie something that could become a family classic. It prominently features Santa Claus and Jack Frost, which almost makes it a Christmas movie. But it takes place around Easter time. But it's actually about a giant battle against evil and fear, and not about any specific holiday at all. And that makes it easily watchable all year long. This is a very enjoyable, fun movie to let out your inner child, and it's definitely one that you should see. Yeah. 